I was groomed to take over the family business. But when my uncle chose his inexperienced son as CEO, I quit and joined our biggest competitor. Now they're furious. Hi, I'm a 30-year-old woman and I recently got cut off by my family for leaving the family business and going against my uncle who is retiring this year. I'm here to ask if I'm in the wrong here. So for context, my dad, he would have been 63 this year, had two younger brothers, Brian and Scott, 59 male and 56 male, and they had all inherited my grandfather's real estate firm. He had hoped that all three brothers would run the place as co-owners and everything would be fine. But six years after my grandpa retired, my uncle Scott decided to break away from the firm and start his own business, and with that he was cut off from the family as well since nobody liked this move of competing with his own brothers in the business. So for the past 16 years, nobody in the family has spoken to him, and neither did they acknowledge his existence, and they pretend like he was never a part of the family at all. I had learned to do the same as well anyway. My dad passed away three years ago from double kidney failure. His health had already not been doing well before it happened and he had been training me to take over just in case he ended up better than. Obviously, nobody had expected him to pass away, but it was a good thing that I was prepared to step into his shoes and take over the duties that he had in the company. I hadn't just been doing his work and helping my uncle Brian run the company for the past three years, but actually ever since I graduated from business school, I had been working with my father and my uncle to learn the ropes because eventually I hoped to become a partner in the firm. So it's been almost nine years since I had been working here, and I had obviously expected to be made partner in the firm eventually, since that's what my dad had wanted. But around 10 days ago, I found out that my uncle had decided to make his son a partner, and I would still be stuck in the role of CFO. When my father was alive, he was the CEO and my uncle was the CFO. After his passing, my uncle stepped into the role of the CEO, and I was promoted to CFO. So now if somebody was supposed to take my uncle's place because he is retiring in a couple of years, shouldn't it be me? My cousin Dean has never even been in the picture, so I was really blindsided by this move. He's 23 years old and just graduated a year ago. He has a degree in economics but no practical or hands-on knowledge and more than anything, he's just much too young to be a partner in the firm. He has not paid his dues, and I know for a fact that he does not deserve it more than I do. So naturally, I was very upset when I found out about this. I didn't even find out from my uncle directly. It was my mother who said that she just heard from her sister-in-law, Dean's mother, that I had passed up the opportunity to be a partner in the firm, and so my uncle was offering it to Dean instead. When my mother told me about it, I instantly called my uncle up because we had had no such discussion and I thought that this was a joke. But when we spoke on the phone, he told me that he seriously was considering making Dean the CEO of the company and the partner in the firm because he was going to announce his retirement in a couple of months. I was shocked and I reminded him that Dean had not worked a day in his life so far. He has spent the entirety of the last year figuring himself out and exploring. So he was pretty inexperienced and was definitely not up to the job and then my uncle told me that apparently this is where I factor in because since I'll be mentoring him, he won't have anything to worry about. So it's not like I'm not needed in the company anymore. He still needs me to handle everything while Dean gets used to it and I'm still going to be the CFO of the company. But I was not fine with that. I told him that I had worked really hard over the last nine years and I wanted the respect that I was owed. Dean definitely did not deserve this position and I made it very clear that I was not happy with this decision. So if he decided to make Dean a partner in the firm and the CEO, then I would be stepping down from my role and leaving the company as well. My uncle tried to tell me that I was overreacting, that he was just doing this so as to secure the future for Dean because he was not going to settle for anything less than the role of CEO. I mean he did not want to break away from the company like my uncle Scott had. So this was his only option and he expected me to understand. He even tried to pacify me by saying that he would only be the nominal head of the company, but I would really be running the show, and he knew that even Dean would respect me. I tried to bargain with him. I told him that I would be willing to settle for my role as CFO, but I wanted him to make me a partner with the company, and he said that he didn't know if he would be able to do that since he had to talk to Dean about it first. But I didn't care. I had put in the work and I wanted to be the CEO and a partner or at least even just a partner so he could either do that or I would be leaving. It was an ultimatum and my uncle and I ended up fighting over this. Eventually he told me that we were living in a free country, so I could do whatever I wanted but his mind had already been made. He had also discussed this with the members of the board and within a couple of days he would be making his announcement as well. His mind had been made up, and I could either deal with it, or I could just leave like I had said that I would. It was a horrible day for me to find out where exactly I stood with my uncle because I always thought that we had a good relationship. But clearly when it comes to our relationship in a professional capacity, I had overestimated how close we were. It's not surprising either. Dean has always been pretty spoiled, and I don't find it surprising that my uncle has chosen him over me. 
This is his flesh and blood, so of course I could never compete. Anyway, I was very upset about the way things turned out, and my mother had suggested that I even lawyer up and go after them legally, but I didn't want to do that. Instead, I had a better plan in mind that would really piss them off. I guess most of you would have been able to figure out what I did after that, but for the ones that don't know yet I wrote an email to my Uncle Scott that day itself. I told him everything that had happened in brief, and I said that I would be willing to work for him now if he would have me. I did not feel like sitting around and moping about what I had lost. The only thing on my mind was getting back at my uncle right now. So I didn't think twice before reaching out to my Uncle Scott, and within 24 hours I had a response from him. He said that he was ready to offer me the position of CFO and that he would be willing to promote me to CEO in a couple of years after he retired. He had agreed to my terms of making me a partner in the firm since I was willing to tell him everything that I knew about my company to help him do better. So a couple of days back we finally met in person and it was quite a fun meeting. I had only had to cut him out of my life because my parents and the rest of my family had demanded that I do so, but other than that I have never really had a bad relationship with my Uncle Scott. In fact he had always been the fun uncle, and until the age of 15 he and I were pretty close. But then the feud happened and he was ostracized, and I never got to speak to him again until now. When I was younger I was never really told exactly what had led to Uncle Scott breaking away from the family, and even now when I met him he refused to talk about it but that was his choice and I needed to respect that. However he told me that he was surprised that my Uncle Brian had pulled off something like this because when my dad was alive he wouldn't even dream of trying to do such a thing. Anyway he was happy about it since it had worked out in his favor and he said that he would love to have me on board because he had only ever heard good things about me. Since they were our most direct competitors they had kept tabs on us and our operations and he said that he knew that what I had done for the company was pretty big and he was looking forward to having me on his side this time. He also reassured me that unlike Uncle Brian he did not have any kids so I had nothing to worry about on that front either. We finalized everything and I put in my resignation that day itself. Uncle Brian did not seem to be affected in the slightest by the fact that I was resigning and I texted him formally to let him know that I wouldn't be showing up for the next two weeks since he had made it very clear that the company would be just fine without me. He told me that he was cool with it and he already had replacements lined up, so I did not need to worry about my position and that was it. I did not interact with him after that however yesterday Uncle Scott, and I finally posted a picture together to celebrate the fact that I was joining him now. I went out for dinner with the team, so I could meet a couple of other higher-ups in his company and socialize with them before I started working with them, and to say that my family is literally crashing and burning right now would be an understatement, because ever since I made the post last night I have been bombarded with text messages, voicemails and phone calls. I've not answered anybody obviously but I can tell that people are very upset. Uncle Brian is livid and has already branded me a traitor and has told me that he's going to make sure that I suffer the repercussions of this move. He can try his worst. I've also been condemned by a lot of other members of the family which I think is strange because from the messages that they sent they seem to already know that I did all this just because I did not get to be a partner in the firm and was passed over in favor of Dean but if they did not speak up about the unfairness of what was being done to me back, then they have no right to criticize me now. The only person whose opinion actually matters to me is my mother, and when I spoke to her this morning she did not seem happy about my decision either. That really shocked me because just a couple of days ago she had been insisting that I go after my uncle with a lawyer so I can get what is rightfully mine but now she thinks that I'm going too far. She told me that there is a lot of history with my uncle Scott that I just don't know and she doesn't think it's appropriate for me to know either. That was quite frustrating because if they were not going to tell me why exactly Uncle Scott had been ostracized from the family, I don't think I can make up my mind about whether I can trust him or not, and I am a full-grown woman, so I think I can handle the truth and they don't need to shy away from me. So far from his behavior, he has been very nice to me, and I don't see any reason to cut him off. But anyway my mother said that the family was very upset with me and she herself was also not happy about this, but if I had already made up my mind there was very little that she could do to change my mind. I tried to talk to her but she just hung up and said that she needed to process what was going on. So now I have incredibly conflicted feelings about what's going on. AITA for joining our competitors after my uncle refused to make me a partner in the firm and picked his son over me. Edit. Hi so some people were confused about how I got the job at Uncle Scott's company so quickly and well it was actually just pure luck. His CFO was retiring in a couple of months anyway and he had been looking for someone to take their place. Luckily I emailed him at the right time so that's how I landed this opportunity. It's like the stars and planets aligned for me too here, I think. Also, some of you wanted to know how things were with my Uncle Scott before he was cut off from the family, and honestly, things were never really that bad when I was growing up. My dad, Uncle Brian, and Uncle Scott were always really close from what I had seen, and I had known that they had a really huge fight, and that was why Uncle Scott had decided to leave the company and start his own business. 
but up until this day, I really don't know what this had been about. Nobody wants to talk about it, and so I can't give you guys that information since I myself don't have it. However, my relationship with him was always good, and I think I mentioned that in my original post as well. Even now when I reached out to him by writing that email his reply was very cordial and warm. I honestly don't know why my family has such a terrible opinion of him. They have called him all sorts of things. They have referred to him as conniving, narcissistic, egoistic and whatnot. But every time that I have interacted with him, I have never felt that he is any of those things. I'm just very confused about who to believe. I really don't want to make a mistake again by trusting somebody because I trusted my Uncle Brian and look where that landed me. I don't want the same thing to happen with Uncle Scott as well which is why I need to be extra careful about these things and since my mother is not exactly pleased with me right now I don't really know who to go to for advice and I can't talk to my friends about this because it's too personal and complicated. Update 1. Hello so it's been three days since people found out that I was going to be working with Uncle Scott and after the initial backlash people have just stopped talking to me. I guess this is fair enough now that I'm associated with Uncle Scott, and they're treating me the same way that they've been treating him. I honestly still have no idea what had happened between them all those years ago, but I have picked which side I want to be on and I can't go back anymore. To be honest the history of their relationship doesn't even matter to me. It's not like I can just quit and go back to working with Uncle Brian now and I need a job. I need to sustain myself and the lifestyle that I have gotten used to and I need a ton of money obviously. So whatever it is I'm here now, and I'm going to make the best of my situation. I spoke to Uncle Scott about the way that I was being treated by the family like I was a pariah and he seemed really sad but he told me that this is exactly the sort of thing that had happened to him and with time I'm going to get over it as well. Or maybe I might even be luckier than him since I am from the younger generation and they might reach out to me in a while but until then I just have to tough it out and deal with it. Once again I asked him what had happened that led to all of this but he refused to talk about it. My mother is still not talking to me which hurts the most but I have been texting her every day and I have not received a response so far and I'm going to be really busy with work in the next couple of days because I'm just starting here and there is a lot of work that I have to catch up on. Now if she wants to talk to me then she can text me herself but other than that I'm not going to be reaching out to her anymore. Hi so it's been six days since I started working with Uncle Scott and things have been going pretty well. The paperwork to make me a partner in the is still being processed but I trust him implicitly. He has treated me with nothing but warmth and respect so far and I guess I have to say that everybody in my family was wrong about him. He has been very transparent with me about everything that's going on. He has told me that since unlike my previous company they are not a private company, so he's going to have to get the board of directors to approve everything to do with me before I can finalize everything but he told me not to worry about it because since he is the owner and CEO it's just a formality at best and I have nothing to worry about since I've already met most people associated with the company and they all seem to really like me besides they know about my previous work and they know that I am worth it. So just like Uncle Scott told me to I'm not too worried about the situation and I'm just going to focus on working. So, things on the work front are going pretty well for me, but my personal life is a mess right now to be honest. My mother and I have not spoken ever since that last conversation and I can't even count how many days it has been since then and I've been really lonely. Nobody else from the family has spoken to me either and it is tough but I'm just trying to deal with it. I do still have a few friends from Uncle Brian's company and they have kept me updated on whatever's going on. Apparently they have already announced that I have left them but they did not include the fact that I've left to work with Uncle Scott probably because it would not reflect too well on the company that somebody in a position like mine quit to work with their direct competitors. They also made the announcement that Dean would be taking over as CEO in a couple of months after Uncle Brian retired and he was also going to be a partner in the firm and they are hosting a work party in his honor in a couple of days. As for the CFO position which had been left when I left it as being filled by one of the employees who had always had subordination problems with me. They probably did that on purpose just to piss me off. It just made me feel sad for them though. If that employee had problems with me I'm pretty sure she's going to have problems with them in the future as well but that's their issue to deal with now. Anyway I spoke to my friends in the company and I told them that they were free to join me with Uncle Scott now since we could offer them better salaries. Ultimately it's up to them, but I can tell that some of them really want to work with me because they're not too confident about the changes taking place in the company, and they think it would be better for them to quit while they are ahead. So I've made the offer let's see who switches. Update 3. Hey so it's been close to a month since I started working with Uncle Scott, and things have been great. I am now officially the CFO and also a partner in the firm. I'm pretty happy about it and even though my mother is still not speaking to me I think I've moved on. There's also another piece of good news that some of my friends from my previous company have quit their jobs and have applied here so they can work with me and Uncle Scott is pretty pleased with it. Uncle Brian however has found this move even more aggravating and a couple of days ago after almost four employees quit so that they could join us he showed up at my house with Dean. 
I had just come back home when they started ringing the doorbell, and when I saw that it was them I spoke to them through the intercom. I told them to clear out because I did not want to have any conversation with them about anything. I knew that they were here to discuss the fact that I had spoken to a couple of employees and they had been influenced to join me, but I told them that I had neither forced nor coerced anybody to do this. They had made this move of their own accord, and I knew that they wanted an excuse to blame me, but even they knew that this is not my fault. But Uncle Brian was out of control, and he started screaming at me from outside the door saying that I was poaching employees from them and it was just not fair and that he would take legal action against me for influencing his employees. I'm pretty sure that that's not grounds for a lawsuit but I just let him scream himself hoarse because I knew that there was no point in saying anything to him while he was screaming so loudly that he wouldn't even be able to hear me. When he finally seemed to run out of steam, I told him that I wanted him to clear out because otherwise they would be forcing my hand to call the cops and already so many people were leaving the company. I'm pretty sure they did not want more people to leave citing the fact that they seemed to be mentally unstable. When I said that Dean piped up all of a sudden and said that this was no way to behave with somebody who had been there for me for so long after my father had passed away. He called me insensitive and selfish saying that I had no respect for anything that his father had done for my family. I found that whole bit very pompous and ridiculous. I told him that I respected Uncle Brian just as much as he respected me. I also reminded him that my father had also worked very hard to bring this company to where it is now, and after his passing I had also put in a lot of work. The only person who had never done anything was Dean, so he had no right to be here speaking up on this. At least Uncle Brian was worthy of being where he is right now, but he just got his position as a form of charity since Uncle Brian did not want him to leave the company and work anywhere else since it was a family business. Then I continued and told him exactly what Uncle Brian had said when he told me that he was offering the position of CEO to Dean since he had asked for it and was not going to settle for anything less. In my original post you guys might remember that I mentioned that my uncle had told me that the only reason he was offering this position to Dean and not me was because his son wanted it, and even though he knew that I deserved it more he wanted to placate his son. He also said that he would only be the nominal head but I would actually be running the show and I remembered it clear as day and I mentioned it to Dean, so he knew exactly where he stood with his father and then there was silence. I heard them arguing softly, and then I heard footsteps of them walking away and pulling out of the driveway. So my job was done now the two of them could duke it out but at least they would leave me alone. The next day I woke up to find out that both of them had blocked me, and I was very pleased. Anyway life is getting better now I know that whatever's going on right now would have made my dad very upset but at least I have the satisfaction of knowing that none of this was my fault. Uncle Brian got greedy and kicked me out so if there's anybody to blame for the situation it's him. I'm very clear about that now so that nobody else can ever try to guilt trip me again into doubting myself. The only person I'm still holding out hope on is my mother. I really do wish that she comes around eventually because she and I have always had a great relationship and especially after my father passed away we had started bonding even more. I definitely miss her every single day and I keep thinking that maybe she will text me eventually, but so far I have had no such luck. At least she hasn't blocked me yet, so maybe she's keeping the door open. I might try to reach out to her if I start missing her too much, but for now I'm still trying to figure out what to do. Update 4 Hey guys it has been close to 6 months since my last update, and since then many things have changed. For starters Uncle Brian has officially retired and Dean has taken over the company. So far he's just maintaining the status quo and not doing anything different. Maybe things might work out for them after all but it hardly matters to me. Since then a lot of employees that used to work there have switched over to us and I'm very happy about it since I get to see a lot of old faces in my new company. My mother and I have still not spoken to each other but I finally might have a reason for that now. A couple of weeks ago I was having dinner and drinks with Uncle Scott and his wife. After a while my aunt left the room to get some rest and while talking I finally asked him since now I was pretty grown up and we were working together. I felt like I really had to know what had happened between him and the family that had led to him getting cut off and he finally told me that years ago my mother had tried to start an affair with him on the day of Thanksgiving dinner that was being hosted in our house. She asked him to help her out in the kitchen and he followed her without having any idea about what was going to happen but once they were alone in the kitchen she told him that she wanted to take things beyond with him and even though she was married to my dad her eyes had always been on him. He tried to get away from her and just in a nick of time my dad entered the kitchen and caught the two of them standing really close and my mom freaked out and started accusing him of trying to start something with her. I don't remember this because Dean and I were in our rooms but my dad had lost his temper and kicked him out of the house that day. Later on that day they had told me that Uncle Scott had to leave because he had some emergency at work. However after that day my mom came up with a bunch of other lies to cover up for this incident so that nobody would believe him and even told Uncle Brian and my father that he had been planning to steal money from the company as well and start something of his own. 
My dad and Uncle Brian had confronted him about this later and had told him that they were going to mess him up real good if he did not step aside on his own. So he decided to leave the company and started his own business, and since then he has had nothing to do with his family. After I found out about all of this I decided it would be best for me to follow in his footsteps and have nothing to do with my family either. It was really saddening to find out about my mother but it is what it is. I have accepted the facts and this is my life now.